Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama. Your realtor in mobile, crazy Russian realtor. Today we're gonna talk about lots. How much uh, can you buy? Uh, what are prices for the lots? And we're gonna talk to a realtor, Jeff Jones, who is a listing agent, uh, who is a listing agent uh, in that subdivision. Джефф Джонс, также он блогер, и у него есть свой канал э, в Ютубе. Обязательно подпишитесь, э, в главном комментарии я дам ссылку, где он показывает мобилу Алабаму. Он также очень любит Алабаму. I'm gonna teach you how to say hello in Russian. Okay. That would be... Здравствуйте! Здравствуйте! <laughs> well, let's do short version. Привет! Привет! Окей, okay. and... Um, I... Also, Jeff likes cats, and he has three cats. Three. So, uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, your education, yeah. you know, your family. So, I've lived in Mobile my entire life. That's 47 years. So, you oh, know, got a little yeah. gray hair, a little gray hair. But I've lived here my entire life. My whole family lives in Mobile. Mm -hmm. So, we like to stay close. It's good to have family close by. But before I was in real estate, I used to play in a band and I traveled all over the world. I never went to Russia, but I did travel in all, all different places and played music, uh, lived on a tour bus for many years. And then I started thinking, I'm gone from my family so much that I wanted to be home. I wanted to be home with my family and connect with my community. And it just made sense because I loved real estate so much that I wanted to connect all of that. So since coming home from the band, uh, now I got into real estate and I absolutely love it. And I went to Keller Williams because it's like a great company. And that's how I met Oksana. And that's how it began. Uh, well, uh, tell us uh, about the lots. We, we want to learn uh, how do we do it? How do we buy a lot in America? Okay. So as you can tell, this house is absolutely beautiful. Um, the sale price on a house like this, it's going to be between maybe 550,000 all the way up to maybe 700, maybe 750,000. It really just depends on the market. But this neighborhood, I've got the listings in this neighborhood, it's called Shadow Creek mm -hmm. and there are 14 lots for sale. And so what you do is you would, uh, find the lot you want. You know, you're walking through and you pick out, I want my house to go right here. You find the perfect lot that fits for you. And then of course, it's gotta be the right size house. So for this neighborhood, the lot of, excuse me, the house has to be at least 3000 square feet. That's a big house, but the average lot price, and I brought my pricing, it starts at around, let's see here. It's going to start at 79,000. So to get a lot in here, it's going to be just over half an acre, 0. 0.65 acres for 79,000. And then it goes up um, to almost two acres, 1.74 acres for 115,000. And then right down the hill over there, we have a property right down there that's actually 4.11 acres. Now it has some wetlands on it, but that property is going to be 99,000. What do you mean when you say wetlands? So the way this works with wetlands is you can't build on it because you know, of the environment, you got to protect the environment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and also if you built on it, well, it wouldn't be safe for your home. Um, so it means that that I guess that, that wetlands are protected. Mm -hmm. So you can get in a lot of trouble if you build um, in an area that has wetlands on it. So that's a big no-no. So who's gonna, who would buy a house with a wetland? Well, that's the thing about this property. That's why the price is so low. It's because um, there's only about one or two acres that are good and usable land. The rest is wetlands. So you would not buy land um, that was wetlands Maybe you could put it up on stilts. I don't even know if that's possible. So, so uh, some people don't know what wetlands are. Mm -hmm. um, does, it, does it look like a swamp or it just soggy ground? Soggy ground, I think, is a key. It mm -hmm. doesn't always look like a swamp, but soggy 
It also means that maybe when it rains, it, it holds the water. Okay. Um, so it would not be good to build on at all. So maybe for somebody who has dogs and he wants them to run free. Absolutely. That would be a great idea. And if they had cats, <laughs> our cats would like that also. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about taxes. Okay. What do we know about taxes in this area? So in Mobile, the property taxes are crazy cheap super super cheap i will say and i could have looked it up but for a 3,000 square foot house out in west mobile the property tax it's only about 12 to 1500 dollars for the whole year it's crazy cheap um you know depending on where you live and the city limits and so forth but it, it's just unbelievable mm -hmm. o other parts around the country are double and triple that but here it's cheap hmm. Thank you. Uh, so if somebody is buying a lot, do you know how much they will have to pay a closing mm -hmm. cost or what? Well, it depends because if you buy it in cash, well, the closing costs are going to be almost nothing. If you finance a lot, there are a couple ways you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can actually uh, have a builder mm -hmm. that wraps all of that together and buys the land and finances your house into one closing. Mm -hmm. You can do it that way. or um, you can finance the land with a local land uh, mm -hmm. lender, mm -hmm. but often they're going to require about 20, about 20, 25 percent down. Mm -hmm. So on a hundred thousand dollar lot, you might have to put down 20 or 25 thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars. So that's kind of how that works with financing. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get what's called a construction loan. Mm -hmm. And so a construction loan, that's a whole different thing. There are a lot of moving parts. It can be somewhat complicated. But if you work with the right builder, they're going to come in to a property like this. They're going to walk around and they're going to go, okay, we're going to have to spend this amount of money on clearing the land. We're going to have to build up the land and they're going to give you this price. And then they're going to give you a final price, but it's mm -hmm. still going to only be an estimate because you know what changes? Cost of lumber, uh, different all different things can change in the process so you kind of have to be flexible you're right i recently been to horton homes office mm -hmm. and they told me their prices were up because i said i've been making video and the prices are up what's going on six months ago and they said doors and windows mm -hmm. doubled it's crazy uh what happens a friend of mine is a builder and he told me the price for a four by eight sheet of plywood just went through the roof so there are a lot of things you have to be aware of. I will tell you this, if you're going to build a custom home, which is like this with a custom builder, you got to have some money to do that because you got to, I mean, think about it, the cost of your driveway. Then if you build out in West Mobile, you're going to have to have a septic tank. You got to pay for all that. Mm -hmm. Then you got to pay to have power run from the street, uh, the water. I mean, there are just so many expenses. That's if you're building a custom home, you're going to have to have a little bit of money to do that. So, got to be prepared. So, thank you. Yeah. Anything else we need to know? Well, we can also kind of take a look around the property. We can do that um, as well. But just know that anytime you're looking at land, you kind of have to envision what's this going to look like if it's completely cleared. And we can talk about the cost of clearing a land. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say for this property out here. Let's, let's walk. Yeah, through. yeah, absolutely. Okay, we changed the position where you can see the land, the trees, the trees. We hear the Do you hear the noise? Yep. yep. The construction. So when you hear that noise, um, there are people working in the background. You know, you've got bulldozers that are clearing land. That's a good sign because things are being done and sounds like that represents progress. So that's what they're doing. You can hear them knocking down trees and sounds like they're putting on roofs also. So when you look at this property here, you can tell that it slopes down. So if you build a house on this property, then you've got to bring in dirt to build the house up so that the house is flat because this house is going to be on a, on a concrete foundation. So there are two ways to look at this. You could bring in dirt to build it up or you can design a house that has the driveway going around back and you've got a basement under that. 
so that you don't have to bring in as much dirt. It's a couple different ways to do it, mm. but either way, this is a beautiful neighborhood. You can tell it's just got nice trees. You've got some oak trees there. It'd be a great place to put a house, a lot of privacy. Some, uh, some people uh, don't understand who would live in Alabama. And now I show them an intelligent person who lives in Alabama. <laughs> Why you never felt like moving out to different states? Number one reason, family. My whole family is close to me. So you want to stay with your family. But here's the other thing. In Alabama, there's a lot of that, that Southern hospitality, you know? Southern hospitality. When I see Oksana on the street, you know, if I didn't know her, I would look her in the eyes and I'd, I'd wave at her, I'd smile at her. See, people like that. Y you know, we don't, when we pass each other on the street, we don't look down. We look up, hey, how you doing? You know, that's kind of what we do in Alabama. Alabama is known as being a friendly state. A am I right about that? Yes. It's a friendly state and everybody has a, one or two guns in the house. That's right, that's how, right. How many do you have? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that to myself, but uh, let's just say I am protected. <laughs> good one, good one. So, um, uh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to teach you how to say goodbye in Russian. Okay, and if, it, if they want to join me, now how would, if they want to like learn a little bit more about what I'm doing or something like that, um, I guess just go to my channel. Goodbye in Russian would be до свидания. До свидания. I can, I've heard that before, до свидания. So I'd love to have messages from people around the world. I mean, it's just crazy, you know? It's so neat to meet someone like you who's from a different part of the world, but know that we're the same person. You know, we still are, are it, even though we were raised differently or, or have different experiences, we're still sharing the human experience. It's so cool. Uh, are you going to be able to give me information on your group to which you belong and traveled with? Oh yeah, yeah. The band is called Big Daddy Weave. W-E-A-V-E. Okay. Is it on Wikipedia? Or? Oh, it's all over the internet. They've sold you know more than a million records. We have a YouTube video with 45 million views on it with me playing the drums. Okay. Uh, subscribe, learn, support. <laughs> Let's do like this. Yeah, yeah. It's Living in Mobile, Alabama is my channel. Yes. Um, but they can learn all about what I do there. And so, uh, yeah, just Jeff Jones agent.